Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in to today's video about how to find free projects, free shapes, and free fonts in Cricut Design Space. I get a lot of questions about how do I know what things are free in Cricut's Design Space and why am I being charged when this is my own image. So let's get started with fonts. If you click on the left hand side toolbar here, you have a text option. Click on the text and then take out any word. My go-to word is hello. And Cricut's default font is actually a free one. It's called Cricut Sans. And I'll show you how I know that. If you click on the font edit bar up here, there's a drop down menu. You can filter it to all fonts, system fonts, and Cricut fonts. Since we want to know what Cricut fonts are free, let's filter to Cricut. Now, I know where to find the Cricut free fonts, but you can scroll through and you notice that there is a price by every single font. If you're an Access subscriber, these fonts are included with your Access subscription. Anything with a Cricut A symbol shows you that you do get that for free if you have a subscription. On this account, I don't have an Access subscription, so if I wanted to use any of these fonts, I would be charged $4.99 to cut each one. $6.99 for this one, but if I scroll down or search for Cricut fonts, and I'll just keep on scrolling since I'm almost there, when we get down to Cricut right here, you'll see that there's no price next to it. And that's, a, that's actually showing that it's a free font. So there's about 12 of them that are free. And you can see that these don't have prices on them. This one does, this one doesn't. So if I wanted to cut this multi-layer font, I can cut oops, both of these layers for free. I like to check and make sure it's free by clicking make it and then making sure that there's no price down here and that it can continue without being charged. Let's cancel that. And let's choose a font that would charge me, a child year, for example. So now when I click make it, Cricut Design Space will not let me continue until I purchase that font. Okay, now you may know that you can also upload your own fonts and cut those for free as well. All of my uploaded fonts would be under the system tab. So anything that I've uploaded or that's included on my computer will be found in here. So say I want to cut this Aubrey font. This was an uploaded font and I can make it for no charge. That's how I like to check every single time to make sure that I'm not being charged for content that I think belongs to me. Remember that if you upload your own font, check the licenses because they may be for only personal use and not used for resale. So if you're using a font that you've uploaded yourself, make sure to read that fine print. Okay, now that we have fonts covered, let's look at our images. If we click on the image tab, all of our images will pop up and notice that there's a price. If again you are an Access subscriber, these are free to cut as long as you have a subscription. While you don't own the images, you can cut them as much as you need while you have your subscription. We can filter by clicking the filter button and then choosing free. You can see that these are the free images for this week, but Cricut does change these every single week depending on what is in the free for this week category. There are some shapes and images that are always free, but I'll show you how to find the ones that are free for just this week. Now, if I dropped this image on my canvas, I can cut this for free right now. So I'll make it a little bit bigger and I can click make it. Notice again, I'm, there's no charge, but if I come back next week, this may not be free anymore and I may be charged. We can go back to images here. I'm gonna clear my filters and we're gonna look at categories. This is my category to find everything that is free this week. So again, you can see that this image and this cartridge, these calendars are free for only this week and next week they will be changed and I will no longer be able to cut them for free. This is so that you can get crafting and using these images for this week. Okay, now let's check out projects. 
You can do the same thing with ready to make projects. I can search and see where my free projects are. Now, if you've registered a machine on your account, you can choose a machine that you've registered. And if you have a machine that's linked to your account, these projects will be free for you as well. So since I don't have a maker machine registered on my account, I would be charged $9.98. But if you register your machine, these projects are free to you. The same thing goes for the Cricut Explorer Air, Cricut Explorer Air 2, Cricut Explorer 1, and the Cricut Maker. So you can find your free projects by registering your machine. If you don't know how to register your machine, you can walk through the setup process by going over to New Machine Setup. This will register the machine to you and unlock all of this free content. Again, you have text font options that are free. Uploaded fonts are free to use. Just make sure to read that fine print. There are 12 free Cricut fonts. You have images that are free to you for different, different images each week. And you have projects that are free to you if you've registered your machine. You also have some images, shapes rather, that are always free to you as well. Square, circle, triangle, all of these will always be free for use. One last free area is if you upload your own images. So if I click on upload, you can upload images here and these ones will also be free to use as well. So I can drop in this cute print then cut and I can use this for free. You can also filter to your uploaded images by coming back to images I clicked on the image categories and I can filter to upload it. Then you can see all of your uploaded images and these will be free to cut as well. I hope that answers your questions on what images are free to use and maybe answers why you're getting charged. If you see a $4.99 charge, it's typically a font. A 99 cent charge is typically an image. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping to add a new video every single week.